Hi, my beautiful witches, blessed be. This is White Raven over here, and today I want to share with you a spell because I promised you guys a spell, and I told you I was going to post something. Uh, sorry about Magic Monday. I cannot post anything on Magic Monday. I've been really busy uh, with my uh, with my life. Very, very, very busy. Maybe I'll give you an input on what's going on in my life later on. But for right now. Let me just tell you that I'm going crazy, uh, busy with certain things, and I am waiting on one more ingredient. I already got one ingredient for the spell that I want to do for you guys, and then I'm waiting for one more ingredient. But in the meantime, I want to share something with you because I've seen a lot of things out there, and ever since I get the videos on YouTube and my page, I got a lot of personal friends asking me for this spell. And this is a spell that I'm very used to, and it's something that... Uh, I literally grew up with this, uh, everybody in my town doing this sort of spells for people. Uh, and it's a very infamous freezer spell. How to freeze people. Okay, first of all, let me tell you what the freezer spell is not for. It's not for. Freezer spell is not going to bind anybody to you. Freezer spells are, freezer spells are not going to break up any couples. Uh, freezer spells are not for your boyfriend to be faithful to you as they're close by. Now, freezer spells are to stop people in the tracks. Whatever it is that they're doing, whoever it is, uh, freezer spells are literally to freeze their actions. Either people gossiping about you, either people trying to send you bad magic, um, you can stop that people from uh, doing any kind of harm towards you. Uh, you can stop uh, uh, if you are in a court case and you're going to have people talking about you, bad about you. You can freeze the spell to tight their tongues and uh, them not being able to talk anything about you. You can confuse them. You can sour their words. You can put fire in their mouth. Those are freezer spells, okay? What can you use for freezer spells? Well, you can use fruits for freezer spells. Like you can put the name of your target. You can cut a lemon and put the name of paper. You're gonna use just the paper uh, of the person's and, and you're gonna write the person's name in here and whatever is the situation. Uh, and you're gonna put this inside a lemon that you have cut in half, tie your lemon up and put it in the freezer. That's just, there you go, that's just a freezer spell. Uh, you can use fruits if or vegetables if you want to stop uh, somebody for having some kind of sexual desires. Uh, if you want to mess with somebody's sexual life, you can use um, vegetables that resembles, for, for example, the male part. Uh, usually for the female, they use uh, pears or um, figs. Or anything that may resemble either the inside of the woman's part or the outside. I mean, you can be creative with that. Again, this is not to bind somebody to you. This is not to keep your boyfriend from uh, being unfaithful. Um, this is usually not to break up people. All right. So I'm going to share uh, two ways in which you can do this. This does not has to be inside a jar. Most people think that a freezer spell is putting a paper inside of a jar and put it in the freezer. No, it is, doesn't necessarily have to be that. You can do other stuff with your freezer with a jar, but that's not what a freezer spell is actually. Uh, so I'm just going to show you one. Right now I have two things that I'm going to use in which I'm going to freeze my little packet because I am going to make a packet. I'm not going to use a, freeze, uh, a vegetable. Uh, people use um, animal tongs and I'm not telling you to cut any animals tongs in the supermarket they sell animal tongs like you can use um, you can be very creative yeah <clears throat> if you want to freeze somebody's heart I will freeze somebody's heart I will use a chicken heart that they sell in the supermarket and I put it in the freezer the person's name is how you slid it in the center you put the paper of the person in there I'm going to freeze your heart from loving anybody else in your life. That's your intention, okay? But for now, I'm going to share with you some of the things that you can use because you're going to make a packet and you're going to wet this packet in different waters. Can you use running water from a tap? It's up to you. I, I don't think freezing something on tap water is that as powerful as just freezing 
a packet on uh, prepare waters or prepare liquids. But if, hey, if you don't have anything else to work with, I think tap water will be just fine. I just think it's better if you actually prepare the water with something. Uh, if you have poppy seeds at home, for example, you can write some poppy seed, put it in that water, prepare that water with the poppy seeds because poppy seeds will add confusion to this person. So if this is something that is gossiping about you, you can actually grab some poppy seeds and grind them and put it in the water and prepare that water. Um, you can use alum. Alum is actually a spice. It's uh, potassium and some aluminum stuff together. But believe it or not, they use this as a spice. And you will find it in the McCormick has alum out there. You can find it like in, in your um, uh, in your spice section in the supermarket. You can also find the poppy seeds in your spice section in the supermarket. You can use uh, chili seeds and prepare water with chili seeds or you can put the chili seeds uh, in your little packet. Uh, if you want this person to, to their mouth to be burning so they won't even say anything about you. Or if you want somebody's sexual life to be burning and you gotta give somebody some urine, um, infections or whatnot uh, you can use alum you can use uh, lemon you can do any acidic stuff uh, in those uh, spells they're nasty okay and this is not pretty one I'm gonna show you right now this is not a pretty spell okay it's not so but if you have somebody that is really mean to you is really nasty to you especially if somebody that is defamating you and talking things that are not true about you and you get a bully at if you get a bully at school that is bullying you stop him in his tracks okay stuff him all right uh, so what's the first thing you're going to do um, and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be using uh, it's just an example of the many things you can do with this if you have any questions you can just put them in the inbox uh, in the uh, in the comments below and I'll try to uh, address them as, as soon as much as I can uh, but let's see I usually have little notebooks I want to show you this is not rocket science. I have notebooks with sticky bags and sometimes I use the paper for different things or different color sticky bags. I like them because they're small and they have different colors. Or I have just the little spiral little notebooks like this. You can use a little paper for it. So we have white papers. So let's say I'm going to put the name of this person here. So and so uh, to stop defamating me. Okay. This person is talking about me, so here is a person. I'm going to pull this away from me. I turn it the way the clock moves, okay? Turn it again the way the clock moves. I turn it again the way the clock moves, and make it as small as you can, okay? So here we go, okay? What am I gonna do? You know I am a big fan. This is all I have right now, right? This person is talking about me. This is all I have right now. I have his name and what he's doing to me. This person is talking shit about me. I want him to shut the fuck up right now. So I put his name in here. I put what he's doing to me. And this is my intention. When I'm doing this, I'm putting the intention. I'm listening to all the bullshit that this guy is talking about me. Okay? So, <clears throat> again, you don't have to put this in a glass bottle. Okay? So what I'm going to use is natural brown paper filter, coffee filters. You can use paper towel too, if you have any kind of paper towel that is uh, natural and is a brown color. Those are the best ones that you wanna use. They're very neutral. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to put my paper inside that, okay? See that? And I'm going to make a package right here, okay? A little package. Again, guys, turn it clockwise. That's called clockwise. And you turn it and I have a little packet right here you see that very simple so what am I gonna do with this what am I gonna do with this what's exactly what I'm going to do with this I got some vinegar here black vinegar from all the vinegars I got the black one okay okay this is of course um, balsamic vinegar okay so this is how I'm going to wet my paper I'm going to put that in here See, it's there. You see it? It's wet. Okay? You wet it. What are we going to do now once this is wet? Aluminum foil. Okay? This does not take any room, guys. 
Now, what's the aluminum foil? Aluminum foil has a part that is very shiny. It has a part that is dull. What's going to happen? You're going to put this little packet in the side, inside a side. We're going to make another little package inside the side that is like mirror. Like this is all going to shine all of our spells and all of our intentions are going to stay here. And you're gonna make a little packet, right? Making that little packet. Guys, this does not take any kind of room in your freezer. It's a very small little thing, okay? There you go. You have a little packet already, all right? This is for somebody that is gossiping about you. Why did I put some vinegar? because I want him to be sour. His life, his tongue, his mouth, everything that comes out of his mouth, I want it to be sour because he's going to stop talking shit about me, okay? Now, you got this, right? Now, let's say this person, actually, you think this person is doing some kind of magic towards you. This person is doing some kind of spells towards you and you don't know, uh, you're not sure, but um, better, uh, better take care of it before it's too late, right? So we get the paper again. You're going to put the name of the person, so-and-so, right? And we're going to put over here, to freeze this person and all his dark magic coming towards me, or all his bad intentions coming towards me, or all of his envy coming towards me, right? So we write that down here, right? Written now. So let's fold this away from us. Right? We fold it and we make a little packet right here. Mm -hmm. We have first, we're going to put it in the little packet of our natural color and natural paper. It could be paper towel or it could be a filter for coffee. You do the same thing, right? You're going to fold it, you're going to make a little packet. Now, this time, because I want to get this person not to do any kind of harm to me, especially magical harm. Are you kidding me? You know where I'm going to put this? And this is something that I already showed you the recipe, and hopefully you already have this done at home, and you have it hiding somewhere. Do you remember how months ago we made some war water? Okay, this is some of my warped water. It's already ready, and this water has been sitting on the moon. It's been sitting outside for a long time. So it's really well prepared. So you're gonna get your warm water. If you don't know how to make warm water, check my videos because there's a video on how to make warm water. It's very simple. I wanna do the same thing. I'm going to put the paper in there. This warm water has water, has spring water, if I'm not mistaken. Has some nails and has some Spanish moss that I got from Savannah, Georgia. Very powerful warm water I have over here. So my nails are already completely corroded, as you can see, they're oxidized, that's why my warm water is so brown. Here's my paper, it's going to go now inside my little package, that is going to be all the shiny part, it's going to be reflecting towards the little package, so you want the dull part to be exposed in the freezer, not the shiny part, okay? I like this. My Santa Diablo is coming right here. My gosh. Anyways, here we go. Okay, let's mail the packet. We have one packet for somebody that's talking shit about me and somebody that is trying to send send me some harm. I'm stopping these two people. I want to say, see, you don't have to put this in a bottle. You don't have to freeze any kind of water. You don't have to put this in nice cubes. This is it. You're going to freeze these people in action, and you're gonna toss this in the back of your freezer. If you need to mark them because uh, they're different people and you want to know which one is which, be my guest. So what are some waters that you can use in order to freeze your stuff? Well, you can use vinegar, you can use warm water, you can use some kind of spring water with poppy seeds to confuse people, you can use some spring water with alum, again, you can find alum in the supermarket. If you can find the supermarket, McCormick, uh, or, I, oh my God, there's just a lot of it in, uh, in Amazon, so you can find alum, that's actually a spice, okay? Uh, it's used to stiffen stuff up. 
Uh, I don't know if it's just for uh, for gels. I'm, I honestly don't know what they use it for, but I just buy the little bottle, the McCormick bottle, and that's why I will be using. Uh, you can use your own urine if you want to dominate somebody, okay? Um, I have some other things over here. Remember, you can use the red peppers. You can use a lemon. Uh, you can put the name of a person inside a lemon. You can cut a lemon, put the uh, person's name inside and tie it down. A lot of people, you can use pins. If you're going to use pins to do the spell, make sure that uh, are nine pins. And when you're done with the spell, you can literally put it in running water or you can bury it under the tree, under a tree. But just make sure you take, you remove your pins. Be careful with little animals. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. If you want to use your own, own urine, I know it sounds a little bit disgusting and gross, but so what? So what? Is it going to be covered? But if you want to put it in a Ziploc bag, because it has urine, just whatever. Whatever. It's going to be your own urine. Um, and like I said, you can use the vinegar to sour people's lives, to sour people's actions, intentions, the mouth, the words, anything they say, just make it sour. Again, just make sure that you understand that a freezer spell is to freeze actions from people that are trying to do harm to you. Uh, if you're going to court, uh, you're going to freeze uh, and confuse uh your judge uh anybody that any witness that is talking bad about you that is a freezer spell okay freezer spells is not to bind anybody to you freezer spells is not to have somebody um stopping somebody from running around freezer spells are to stop people that are doing harms towards you okay uh, blessed be which is I hope this helped you out a little bit if you have any questions in regards to spell leave them in the comment or go to witch slayer and let me know okay give me a couple more days I think my next um, I want to share with you this is one of the ingredients for our next spell um, it's not gonna be a very ethical spell but I don't care I don't care anymore uh, you guys do whatever you want, want to do uh, it's always awesome talking to you, which is this is white raven over here uh, Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching my videos and go visit me in witches lair and let me know what you need in witches lair I'm very eclectic always remember that is not the right way. There is only your way We all do things differently embrace magic and embrace our differences. That's actually what makes us so special don't be judging and stay wicked. See you soon, okay?